Okay, we got this 10 year old machine right here. We took off the side cover and we found out that it's really dusty in here. So we're going to simply take it to our tech lab and with an air hose blow out all that dust so we can work on this. Alright, we're at the tech lab now. We're going to blow out all this dust here. Uh, it takes about 2-3 minutes so I'm going to show you a little bit of what you do so you get the idea. hard drive out of the out of the computer. First of all I'm gonna remove all the cords connected to the hard drive. Then I'm gonna take out the casing and and now we have the hard drive up. Okay, now that we have the hard drive out of the shell, we can actually put the operating system on it. And first of all, we have to plug it into our little slave machine that we got here, which basically is a faster machine that can actually load the operating system on because those are so old that they won't be able to handle putting the operating system on. First of all, You need to have a pen drive with the operating system on it already so you can install it onto the hard drive. And then you just boot it up from there. And then you select the operating system that you want to load. In this case, it's Lubuntu. And then it sets up the operating system. Okay, now that Lubuntu is loaded, we have to in use it to install it onto our hard drive. And then we just do the quick little formats here. The beginning. Just keep pressing enter basically because the default options are the best. And then we erase and use the entire disk because we don't really want the XP operating system on there. And make this is a crucial part. Otherwise you're installing the operating system back onto the flash drive. And that's not what we want, is we have to install it onto the hard drive. So we have to select it up here, find the hard drive, and click next install now. And then it begins installing. And then you have to pick your time zone. And we're looking for Chicago because it's within our time. And then the keyboard layout, which is USA. And then, it basically asks, who are you? For so your name, we always do user. And then for the computer name, we type in what the operating system is. And this is Lubuntu. And then they pick a username, we do user also. And then password is password. Okay. And then we always do login automatically, so we don't have to type in password every time.
and then from here it's straight very very straightforward uh, it just loads up, up the operating system and once it says it's done then it's done and you just take out the hard drive and it's ready to put back in the shell and then back into the case of the computer and you just hook everything back up and then it's good to go okay so as you can see it's finished now and uh, you have two options you can either continue testing out the operating system while it's still on the flash drive or you can restart now and use your new uh, Lubuntu hard drive in your new computer but we're gonna restart now so we can actually take out the hard drive and use it in our 2001 computer that's 10 years old so so now it tells me that uh, I have to remove the installation media in this case is our hard drive so once that's removed then you just turn off the computer and then you're good you just put it back in here the, All right, the shell. Alright, now got the hard drive back in the cage I'm ready to put this back in the computer so you have to slide it in so that these four um, prongs line up with their designated slots it should slip in nice and easy if you hold the clip it'll go in nice make sure it lines up with the hole that the screw goes in and then screw that in nice and secure and then you just hook up the same cables you unplugged when you initially took it out which is this ribbon cable here this ribbon cable here and this to the power supply and that's it